Let's take a look at the first type. The first type, of course, is sand. Where do you find sand? You find sand at the beach. Now, be careful. Sand doesn't normally look like this, right? Okay, it looks like some kids came by and they made some sand castles. So sand, sand is a material that comes from rocks. Did you know that, right? If you go to the beach, you see a lot of sand. Of course, it looks like this in the background. Did you know that that sand used to be part of a larger rock? But over time, a long time, that rock breaks apart and it becomes sand on the coast of the ocean or on the edge of a large lake. And of course, there's lots of different forces that break that rock down to sand. But that's what sand is. There is, of course, a lot of sand on the beach. Enough sand to build many, many sand castles, right? So there's a lot of sand there. Okay, what's another type of rocks and soil? Another type is clay. Where do you find clay? Usually you can find clay near streams or lakes. It's wet, it's moist soil. Clay is sticky and soft material from the earth. Okay, it's very soft. You can change the shape very easily. You can push it into different shapes. Now because it's moist, when it dries, it becomes hard. And in fact, you can, you see what this person is doing with the clay here. We actually have a video of this. This person is taking a piece of clay and they're spinning it on a wheel. Let's take a look at the action here. You can see the wheel is spinning around and they're using their hands to shape that clay. Then they push their thumbs in the top like that. And wow, isn't that great? They're making a type of bowl or container. Now they could be making a cup. They could be making a vase for uh, a flower. They could be making some type of container. But human beings have been making these types of containers. Well, this looks like a vase. Maybe they're gonna put flowers inside of it. But look at that. Human beings have been using clay because it's a natural material. It's easy to work, it's very soft. Humans have been using clay to make pottery for a very long time, for many hundreds of years. So this is clay. Clay is a very useful type of soil for making things. Another type of rock or soil that we're talking about here is topsoil. We've talked about this before. Topsoil is very, very important to us. We use topsoil to grow plants. This is the soil nearest the surface of the ground. Topsoil is loose, it's soft. It's also rich in um, uh, nutrients that plants need to grow. If there's not a lot of topsoil, plants will not grow well. In the desert, there is no topsoil, so plants don't grow there because there's no moisture, there's no topsoil. Topsoil needs to be in a place where there's lots of plants, lots of animals, and lots of water too. So topsoil is very important. Another type of soil, ugh, it's kind of ugh, yucky well, right? And that's humus, humus. Humus is a substance made from dead plants and animals, ugh, right, yucky. Uh, dead plants and animals, right? They will decompose, they will change their form over time in the soil. Humus is in soil, but actually, even though it's yucky and kind of gross, even though it's also very important, it's part of the cycle of life. When an animal or a plant dies, their body falls to the ground and it dissolves, it, it goes into the ground and the nutrients and the minerals and all the things that were a part of the body will go into the surrounding ground and other plants will be able to use that material to grow well. So in fact, it's very important. Uh, uh, Indians, American Indians used to, when they caught fish and they ate the fish, they took the rest of the fish and they put it in the soil next to their corn where they, where they grew crops. And that helped their crops grow well. And that's humus. They were using humus in their soil to help their crops grow so that they could grow uh, plants to eat. Okay. Now, another type of soil that's much, much different, or actually it's a type of rock that's much, much different, is granite. 
Granite is a really hard rock, okay? It's very tough, very strong, very hard rock. This is a very hard, dull colored rock. That's granite. But granite has many different colors and many different patterns, right? You could have granite. Usually granite is like this, very dull gray. But you can also get pink granite, white granite, uh, dark uh, brown, dark red, even black granite. And people will use granite especially when they cut it into a, a sheet, very flat, and they polish it. It looks very nice, especially in people's homes. A very common use of granite is on the countertop in the bathroom or in the sinks uh, for the kitchen, around the sink in the kitchen. Uh, they'll use granite uh, countertops, okay? So countertops in the home, if you use granite, it's very nice. Counter top, I don't know, you see that? Countertop, in your kitchen or in your bathroom, countertops. <clears throat> They're usually made of granite, they look very nice, but it is an expensive material. Okay, let's move on. Now we have, we've covered the five different types of rocks and soil. We have two more words to look at. One is a verb. The verb is to build, to build something. I just told you about uh, granite, right? People use granite in their homes. Well, you use different materials in your homes, you build something. Build means to make or to construct something. People build houses and apartments, right? These people here are building what looks like a house or it could be part of an apartment building. So to build, to create something, to construct something, usually a building. Rough is our other word. Rough is an adjective. When we use this word to describe something, it is rough. What do we mean? Rough means having a surface that is not even or smooth. Remember, I just told you about granite, right? When people cut granite, if you see granite in the wild, it's rough, right? You run your hand over the surface, it's bumpy, right? It's, it's not smooth, it's not soft, it's rough. Well, if you take the granite and you cut it in sheets and you polish it, right? Then it becomes very smooth and it becomes very even, very flat. But we have to uh, go to, you know, we have to use tools to make, to cut the granite and to polish the granite. Naturally, granite is very rough on the edges. Lots of rocks are very rough around the edges. They are not smooth. Okay. Lesson 10. Rocks and Soil. Sand. This is a material that comes from rocks. There is a lot of sand on a beach. Clay. This is a sticky and soft material from the earth. Topsoil. This is the soil nearest the surface of the ground. Topsoil is loose and soft. Humus. This is a substance made from dead plants and animals. Humus is in soil. Granite. This is a very hard, dull-colored rock. Build. Build means to make or to construct something. People build houses and apartments. Rough. Having a surface that is not even or smooth. 